I worked hard for it, and pretty much somebody that I know in the fight scene, Kai, uh, from Next Level MMA, contacted me and um, told me that he's got me a fight for Bellator. And I had another fight that was, I was supposed to do in Tennessee off of Valor, um, fight promotions, but um, I had to push that back because I can't pass up Bellator. You know what I mean? That's like really big. But I told Valor I would fight for them maybe in like December or January. And uh, I mean, I was going through some rough times at the time when this came about and uh, it was uh, pretty stressed out at the time. But like now I'm all good. Everything's figured out. So I'm going to take this fight and I'm going to beat the fuck out of this bitch because she ran away from me during the amateurs. Her stupid excuse why she wouldn't fight me amateur and she's 4-0 amateur and I'm 2-0 amateur in MMA. Um, she claims that I didn't have any finishers or knockouts that's why she wouldn't fight me so quite frankly i think that's the most bullshit fucking excuse in the world and everybody else that i even told that to said that's that she's just scared so i mean hey if you're scared you're scared but you're now you have no choice to get into me i'm mainly a striker but uh, i've been doing a lot of brazilian jiu-jitsu at, at maxim gym um and i sub terrace out here in long island and uh uh, they're a great gym. They're a Matt Sarah affiliated gym. And uh, I go, I jump around here and there just to get working with a few different people. I also train with Jillian DeCourcy. Um, she's a 105 Invicta champ. Um, she's trained at Long Island MMA. So uh, I've been training with the, with the best people I can. And uh, I'm feeling great, feeling strong. <laughs> One I could say, actually a few I can say, um, I compare myself to Joanna Jodensky and uh, a little bit of Valentina Shevchenko too. I like them both. They're both great fighters. And uh, a couple of guys, uh, a couple of people reminded myself of like, um, what this, you know, I forget names. I'm so bad with names, but if I saw the face, I would know. <laughs> like there's too many fighters, but yeah, I compare myself to quite a few. I've learned to, how to harness all this, negative energy and put it into something positive and you know just keep on going because if you just stop then you're just gonna waste your own time and something i love to do like this is like i i'm gonna go big with this shit like i i hope to make it in ufc one day when they have a 105 or division because i heard they don't so um because I'm pretty small, I'm 5'3", but I walk around 120 when I'm not dieting. <laughs> like, this morning I weighed myself 110, so I'm, like, pretty light right now. <laughs> but I'm only a few pounds away. I'm, I'm still doing both. I'm pretty much all, all out doing both. Just out here in New York, there's nothing really out here to uh, shoot, per se, and I would have to make myself go to the West Coast and L.A. and all that shenanigans, fly over here, fly over there, make myself crazy even more. <laughs> But yeah, I'm still doing that. It's not just one or the other people I ask, oh, have you stopped doing this? Have you stopped doing that? And it's not that I've stopped. It's more or less the location of where I am. Like, I live in New York, so it's just like, it's it's a dead zone here. So um, unless I make my own, which I have been starting to, so um, that's good. And I'm going to put that up there and sell them shit and make some money. <laughs> so I just like to be out in people's faces more or less, I should say, because I'm a very outgoing person and um, I just don't give a f Like people can judge me, I don't give a f I do what I want, it's my life, you know, you only live once, so might as well make the best of it and what you wanna do. If you don't do what you wanna do and you don't like what you do, then you shouldn't be doing it. Those are the two favorite things I have in the world, hell yeah, that's why I have sex and violence tattooed on me because that's just who I am. I'm the embodiment of it. So <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, this one I got because it was drawn up by somebody. Well, <laughs> well, I'm, I hate to say it, but my ex's friend <laughs> drew it up and he was in jail. So I got this and my friend just made it more like popping out. These are just Valkyrie wings because I'm Scandinavian and it's just Viking not work. And it says Valkyrie in ruins. Um, I'm really big into the Odin and, and Viking stuff. Um, and then I have, hold on one second, let me try it like, <laughs> do I need the phone? I have all this Viking stuff, this Thor's hammer. I have a lot. I have a lot up here too. But um, yeah, I have my stars. These were my first ones.
These are my first ones. I don't know if you see that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> These are my first ones when I was 18. I got them. <laughs> but, um, and then I have this rag here. If I, can, I can't read. <laughs> yeah. And then I have one on my back, like the center of my back, which is like from a video game since I'm a nerd. So, <laughs> lash tattoo from Friday the 13th. And then this bitch, I don't know who that is, but some douchebag when I was in Nevada, I got, I was supposed to get a whole sleeve done and make the girl look like she's turning into like a werewolf or a monster. And the guy, I paid the guy and the guy just ditched before I can even like, yeah, so I got ripped off. So I'm going to cover her and make her look like a half a lichen or something. So, uh, it's my family's last name and like my, fa my ancestors came from Sweden and they were big in like this market of some type. I don't I don't really remember what my dad was telling me because he looked it up, but um I'm also German, Irish, a little bit of English, and then on my mother's side I'm like Estonian and uh what the f is it? Uh some Eastern European somewhere. <laughs> I don't remember everything, but whatever. I'm white and I'm wonder bread, okay? Um, I would like them to let them know that, uh, don't piss me off because, you know, I'll fuck you up. Um, but I love all the support I get and, um, I'm going to shout out to a few sponsors. I think Tank Flotation in Middle Island, if you live in New York area, this is their thing awesome. Little Secrets Gentleman Club, where I used to work at and still sometimes hit there, here and there. Uh, they are supporters of me, so you should go there, check out the club. It's in Deer Park. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it I have for now. But yeah, just keep on, you know, tuning into my Snapchats, my Twitters, whatever, Facebook, Instagram, you know, that's it.